All right, a um, little bit of good news to share and uh, the client has given me the permission. Obviously, I can't give specific details, but I can share the gist. So the good news is the client who's an expat uh, in the Middle East, uh, sorry, Dubai, UAE, has finally been awarded the promotion that uh, she was working very hard for. Um, it, it, you know, it, it, it feels, it feels amazing when I can share this with you because when you're involved with someone as a coach, as a trainer, as a mentor, um, you're, you're very emotionally involved in that person's success or failure. Like there have been moments where I've had uh, people who have lost uh, their dream job or an opportunity and uh, sometimes they break down and they cry because some of them are very ambitious. Some of them take it very personally. So when someone achieves success and uh, then they speak to you about it and they're jumping with joy and their family is so happy and then their husband and their kid comes on the camera and says, thank you, we appreciate and all that. Uh, you, you do feel happy. But the reason I want to share this uh, incident with you is there were some bits and pieces which I thought would add tremendous value to you. So feel free to share it with uh, whomso you want or you can listen to it as you're driving or doing something. Now, the individual, this female, she got in touch with me, I think uh, roughly th uh, four months, four months ago or a little bit before that. Okay, it seems there was this internal vacancy in this company that she's working. I don't know if I told you, it's a Fortune 100 company, a very big company that pays very big packages, very good uh, uh, benefits, you know, remuneration, takes care of the family. It's a dream job for many expats. Okay, predominantly it is Emiratis, whites, uh, foreigners, and yes, Indians, but not at the very high level. So you have to be really good to be at that level. And this lady was there at that level, but, you know, obviously wants to grow more. But she was uh, kind of elder to me, okay, elder to me in terms of age. Um, so when she got in touch with me the first time, it was, you know, getting to know each other uh, kind of thing. And she told me, I have seen many of your videos. I don't agree with everything you say. I don't like some of your other saying. Uh, but keeping that aside, I think you're very to the point, you're very realistic and I would like to try your services and see if you're, you know, if you're good or whatever. And uh, when I started to probe into, by the way, she's an Indian, okay, she's an Indian, just so that you know. Uh, when I started to probe into what did she do, where she was, because I like to get into the background, um, uh, Indian well-educated, well-traveled, been in many countries, uh, went through ups and downs, but now is coming towards the tail end of her career where she wants to go out with a hurrah. You know, the highest position, highest amount of money. Her kids are already working, so, you know, her only focus is marriage and career. So, uh, so she was speaking to me and all that, and... Um, uh, there, I don't know how to put this lightly, but there was a moment where there was a slight ego clash. I guess because she is in a very senior position and she has worked in the corporate world, she is very used to having uh, men or whatever, uh, you know, kind of dance to her tune, so to speak. So, and I don't, I'm a service provider. I don't do, I can chat with you once. If required, I might have a video session with you. But even if I do, I will charge you money. I'm not going to do it for free. So she was chatting. She was asking all the questions. And um, before confirming, she wanted me to have, she wanted to have a video session. And I don't do video sessions for free. Um, so, uh, where is the AC? It's a little cool, man. Uh, so I told her, whatever questions you have, you ask here. No, I want a video session before I confirm. So she was kind of giving me that attitude. And I was like, uh, you know, listen, boss. <laughs> I've uh, gotten out of the corporate world not to take bullshit from anyone. Um, you know, I didn't tell her this, but I'm not going to take bullshit from anybody. You might be rich, you might be f 
filthy multi-millionaire, you're not going to pay me millions. Okay, if you're paying me millions, maybe I'll dance to your tunes. But you're not paying me millions. Yes, you're paying me a premium. So what happened was uh, she wanted a video session and I was not prepared to give a video session for free. And uh, I told her, just put down your questions, write down what they are, I'll answer. Now I want a video session. I said, then these are my charges. You're going to charge me uh, for something that you're already going to charge me. I said, this is what it is. And then I guess uh, maybe it was not a good day for her or whatever, or maybe it was me. She finally told me, uh, okay, I'll get back to you. Okay, fine, whatever. So uh, luckily for me, I'm not dying for a customer. I'm not dying. Like if I was dying, if I was desperate, maybe I would have said, okay, okay, fine, whatever. And I'm not in that early stages of my career where I, I have one customer every three months or six months or whatever. So um, fine, you, you and I can't get along, can't get along. And then what happened is I didn't hear anything for a month. And this is not me, uh, like, sh you know, airing dirty laundry. I'm telling you real facts of how human interactions, uh, how Im human interaction is. So I, what happened is after a month, I didn't hear anything for a month. And uh, I think month and a half. That's why, you know, I told you there was this long gap. So finally, she got in touch with me again. Okay, she got in touch with me again. And uh, she told me, hi, you remember me and all that. I said, no, give me your email address. What are the details? So then I got the details. So I said, ah, okay. So you're applying for this job. And, uh, you know, my mood was different. I was, yeah, you're applying for this job. No, I didn't get that job. So I said, oh, you already went and applied. She said, yeah, I, I, I went, I applied. I had taken someone else's service and all that. And she said, uh, I just want to be very direct with you. I said, yeah, that's how it should be. I did not like uh, your approach. I felt you were very rude. You didn't, uh, you know, you didn't give any respect. Um, I just wanted to have a video call with you to test the waters and you're not prepared. You still wanted to pay. So that's why I didn't go with you. I went with someone else. I said, okay, um, but it didn't succeed and I was not too happy about it. Um, but eventually it was, uh, she, she told me, I'll, I'll be transparent with you. My husband said, listen, try him, give him a shot. You may not like what he says, but give him a shot. So based on my husband's uh, recommendation, I'm coming back to you. Uh, this was all on chat. I said, uh, fine. I said, no issues. Um, so I said, do you want the video call? You know, I was in a good mood. So I said, do you want the video call? She said, no, I'll just... I'm going with my husband's, uh, uh, you know, gut feeling guidance here. I'm paying the amount, whatever. So I said, didn't you just say that the position is gone? She said, no, another position has come. And this is even better than the one I had. Uh, I would like to apply for it. I said, okay, fine. So once again, I said, let me check what is the costing because the costing is different for different projects. Let me check what it is. Obviously, turned out to be a little bit more. I told her not very much. She said, uh, she just kept quiet, you know. Uh, she was irritated. Uh, I, didn't <laughs> I didn't want to irritate her more. So finally, it, the video came. The funny thing is um, what her photograph was on the resume and how she portrayed versus what she was on video were two entirely different things. And uh, that was the first thing what I exclaimed. I said, um, the, way you, the way you sound and the way you portray yourself is very different from who you really are. And uh, she laughed. She said, I get that very often. And I told her, in a way, that can be a bad thing for you because people are judging you, prejudging you, before they even get to know you. And sometimes they can misunderstand you. It's like you hear my voice and you have a f image of how a person should be. And then you see my face and you're like, hey, what the hell? You know, I get shocked. Like my Coca-Cola viral ad that was there uh, where they put us in a dark room. That one got 750 million views. You can Google search uh, Loy Mesido Coca-Cola uh, 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 viral ad, you know, Coca-Cola. No, no labels this Ramadan. They kept us in a dark room. I want you to watch it. It, it. it went viral all over the world. It was a social experiment. So, you know, you're talking and then uh, you assume certain things about the person. When the lights come on, you're shocked. So I told her, in a way, 
for a surprise element it is good but for your brand you are creating the wrong impression or the wrong assumption and then they get something else so either it'll backfire or it'll be a good thing and we can't afford to have this so she said oh i never thought of it that way <clears throat> so that was the first thing that i <clears throat> exclaimed which i thought would be of great value like how do you sound on a cv how do you sound like when a person reads what image do they get versus how do you look is that the same versus when they meet you is it the same and when they engage with you and talk to you is it the same or is it totally different because if it is totally different in all the areas then what the person assumes and what the person gets if it is two different things it may not be a very good thing because you are trying to portray an image but if they don't get what they what they think they are getting they can even say sorry i'm not interested so be careful of that so we i told her this and um, you know be, because we were just uh, uh, more on a very uh, friendly level because she is elder to me and you know we have uh, what do you call that uh, we have seen dubai we have seen dubai for very many years then her husband came there and he was also wise and he was i i think he was kind of uh, retired running his own business so we were just talking is that loy um, i've been following your style very bombastic you're very entertaining i listen to you most of the time so i told my wife i said i appreciate whatever and we spoke at length and then you know the the inhibitions came down and then we were talking like kind of friends so i said i'll do my best to guide her okay and we started initially um for the promotion she had a four page cv four page i checked the description and i checked the i said see listen this is too much you are applying within the company four pages is too much they don't need four pages okay they already know you they already know you there's already a buzz there is already like uh, behind the back kind of information and gossip going on so they know you they just want a document that states who you are just as formality so don't i told her don't you don't need to oversell it's like you suppose you know your husband for ma- many years and uh, you are applying and you are trying to convince him who you are no you don't have to do that just simple this is what i do that's all so from four pages i had to force her and break her head and then we went to three pages and then we went we went to two pages and finally i brought it down to a page and she was like loy you know you have literally removed everything you just put one single page and that also hardly anything i said yes you just state what needs to be stated you don't go out of the way going out of the way it's it's too much it's like they have known you for like 10 years 15 years why are you trying to convince them who you are they already know you who you are just state what you do and what how you can contribute why should they take you it should all be explicitly said in that one page i just gave her three points she was very shocked three points as to what she's doing three points what she can contribute uh, no three points what she has um that uh, can contribute and three points that differentiates her from other candidates okay very simple very simple not oversell nothing and all related to where she can verify what she has done within the organization okay so we gave this um she was very skeptical i said you need to believe in the process okay i've been doing this for very many years so finally we did that and we made a cover letter that matched the profile and um, i said um, are you allowed to talk to the guy who will be uh, you know uh, uh, part of the panel that would be approving you or taking an interview she said my boss my immediate boss and my boss boss they'd be there um, although i don't know if it is appropriate i said you can just ask your boss because you are the closest to him just ask him uh, what needs to be done for you to secure that position if he if you have that close relationship and uh, if it is okay you can maybe show the profile and get some corrections 
because he has more experience than you she said uh, i'm just feeling uncomfortable about it i said listen you have nothing to lose you just asking she said fine okay so she went to her boss she spoke about it he was more than happy he was like hey fine man i have no issues go ahead show me and even asked for the profile and said show me what you have done and uh, he did tweak a couple of things here and there he said listen just move this put this and then he said put this add on because this is what they're looking for the next job and he put it in a way that made the cv even better i w- i will admit it made it even better and finally uh, she applied uh, but like you you, you know uh, you don't get an immediate response she was very happy with the application and uh, she felt positive even i felt the positive vibes after a few weeks it seems there was an interview uh, the first round didn't go very well so she was upset and i said it's okay you know uh, you can't have everything uh, we did our best that's it surprisingly she got called for the second interview which uh, didn't go as bad as the first one but she was not too sure she was kind of skeptical but then she was shocked when it was the final round she got called for the final round and for the final round obviously there were a lot of different other questions series of questions which obviously is confidential i cannot share and um uh lo and behold um uh, it was after some time that she actually got a letter stating that she has been selected and uh, yeah there is handover and all that procedures you can't just jump so she was very very happy very happy overjoyed and the husband also we spoke said thank you very much they even give me a nice little tip which was very happy which you know i never complain if i get a little bit more so what am i trying to share with you through this video see um when you're applying within an internal vacancy na don't oversell yourself you don't need to oversell yourself people already know you that is number one the second thing is um uh figure out what they want because they have a system they have a format they have some things in mind you need to you know meet them halfway at least for example if i'm expecting a one page cv and you send me a four page cv that's stupid or if i'm expecting you to write more of let's say your current roles and responsibilities and you are putting your great achievements Uh, people will not like that in fact you have to be very careful with the language and the words you can't say i did this i did that and in some organizations they say don't say we did this we did that say what you did so you, you know you need to understand what is it that they want and uh, it's very important to have a manager and senior manager or people who know you who are there willing to guide you because if they are not willing to support you or they don't have the best intentions in mind you cannot succeed because remember end of the day the manager into will ask them what do you think about this person and uh, finally one last thing uh, which uh, you know before we did conclude she did ask uh, do you have any feedback anything because it was a learning experience i said do hey, you remember the first time you got in touch with me and uh, you're pissed off and all that i said um, because of the corporate world we tend to have an ego i said you have an ego i have an ego we all have an ego um when you are on the when you are in in the position where you need help or you need guidance you have to be humble you cannot show an air of superiority i said your your fragile ego um was pissed off just because i said you have to pay for having a video call i said it wouldn't have cost you much you're not poor uh, but you wanted me to you know like your subordinates say yes to whatever you say she's no no law you misunderstood and all that so i said um, well okay you can clarify she said i just didn't like the way the tone and this and that i said yeah so uh, i i told her if it is if it was a senior boss or a sheik and you would no no then i wouldn't mind I said yeah so that clearly shows no so then she said okay i I'll, i'll take it into my stride and i said listen you have another few more years before retirement just be cool calm composed i'm not saying be friendly with everyone i'm not saying change your style but there will come a day where you'll no longer be employed you'll no longer have your position of power you'll no longer be important enough that anyone would care 
So just keep that in mind that we are reaching the point of retirement where um, you don't have to be overly nice with everyone. But at the same time, don't have that ego that you're indispensable or the world owes you anything. So I said, you are a very likable person. Like after I spoke to you on video, very likable. So bring that out and let everyone like you so they support you. Because as a leader, you can't have the Steve Jobs effect that people are afraid. This is, you're part of the whole system. You're not the monopoly. So make them like you. Because if they like you, then they'll be with you. Otherwise, they'll gang up against you. And uh, that was what it is. Overall, very happy with the experience. Um, all's well that ends well. And yes, I got an extra little tip, which I'm, which was not bad. And it was not small also. So that was like, Ooh, very good. The husband gave it. He was very happy. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And congratulations to my client and myself. Yes, good job. Anyway, this was a rare moment because internal promotions are very rare, very, very rare and very tough to get. And she got it. So, yeah, I'm happy. Anyway, uh, good, bad, ugly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is me signing off. You guys take care. Ciao.